everyone it's Lottie from enduring the journey cancer as a lifestyle I hope you had a wonderful week this week we're just plugging along over here slowly but surely I need a haircut so bad my hair is such a mess but yesterday I had a really busy week came home from uh, my errands that I was out all day and I got some happy mail look at this beautifully embossed envelope isn't that gorgeous it is from my friend Leia look at this beautiful card oh, from Huckenberry Holler she used to be um, um, what is it um, get real oh my gosh I can't think of her old name <laughs> But right now it's Huckenberry Holler. I always want to call it a uh, Holler Homestead. I don't know why, but it's Huckenberry ho uh, Holler Homestead. And she says, like, hey, dear sister Lottie, I sure hope these squares can help. Blessings abundantly, Leia. Leia, this is the most beautiful card, honestly. I started saving these in my uh, memory journal because they're just so beautiful. So thank you so much. I was not expecting. That's the best kind of happy mail is the one that you don't expect. <laughs> but anyway. Oh. She sent me some yarn. This is a Fentex Orchid brand. And what color is this? This is champagne. Look at this. Thank you so much, Leah. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yarn is so expensive, so I appreciate it any yarn any yarn at all but she made a whole bunch of squares which oh now i can finish up that blanket that one of those uh um i can finish up a blanket because i do have some with the squares the bigger squares and i've just not um had enough to make a whole blanket so these are perfect and I'm, now i can make a blanket out of it so thank you leia i really love these perfect this is going to go really well Oh, thank you, Leia. She even got the ends in, too. So look at that. I can go. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Look at all these. Look at all of this. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. There's even more in here. Like, it just never ends. Thank you. This is going to be great. Look at all the different colors, you guys. So thank you, Leia. I appreciate it so much. Look at that. Thank you. This is why I love squ um, granny squares. Look at all of them. That's tons of them. And I already have a couple that I put together. But like I said, I did not have enough to finish a whole blanket. But thank you, Leah. You are wonderful. I love you so much. You always, always come through. I don't know why. How do you know what I need? But she just blesses me continuously. Honestly. Continuously blesses me. So that came from Leia. Now, I have a couple acquisitions because yesterday I had a really busy day. And uh, I, <laughs> you're going to think I'm crazy, but I ended up, you know, I had a busy day as it is. But I saw a sign and it said craft sale. And I got so excited by it because I thought, oh, craft sale. You know, people got garage sales everywhere going on in our area like crazy, I think, because it's the last days of summer. And like every weekend, there's all these garage sales. But when I saw that craft sale going on, I was like, ooh. I had I had my daughter take a picture of it, you know, uh, as we drove past. Hurry up, take a picture, you know, hanging out of, off, out of the car. <laughs> but because um, I wanted to go to it because I was imagining like all these different crafts that, you know, like supplies. I was thinking that they were going to be selling supplies. But when I got there... Uh, they actually were two sisters that made crafts and they were selling the crafts that they made so I was a little disappointed with that because I really thought I was going to you know I love going to these um, you know craft sales like you know where I was thinking like people were getting rid of, of their stash or you know and you can I see these online all the time where people are posting you know hey I went to one and it was just like a whole basement full of crafts craft items you know and supplies but that's okay they were had a whole bunch of wreaths 
and um, holiday decorations that they were making some beautiful things that they made I got to, uh, to talking to them and they were actually two sisters who just get along uh, get together and they craft together and that's their um, their their bonding time and they let me show you I ended up getting a wreath from them because they're very affordable for one thing and uh, they actually gave me even five dollars off than what it was because the wreath was 25 but I ended up uh, getting it for 20 beautiful and they actually have their own I mean they're on social media everywhere like they they were like professionals you know and I wrote it down and I'm gonna have the link down below so you can see all the beautiful wreaths if you're interested um, it, uh, there are one I'm gonna do is a Facebook page but they have other ones but I did not get all of that uh, so you can always I guess imagine get the rest of the information on their Facebook page if you're interested but let me show you the wreath that I bought for $20 from them isn't this gorgeous I just thought that that was so different uh, because I actually do not have a Christmas wreath I we used to have these two big candy canes <laughs> my dad were like from the 19 what 60s or 70s and my daughter was like can we get rid of these candy canes already <laughs> so I think she was pleased with this one because it's more modern but isn't this gorgeous and it is actually let me show you the back of it this is how they made that so all I have to do is I'm going to crochet a little string up here and wrap it you know um, tie it on so I can hang it on my front door so beautiful I thought this was so well worth it um, and like I said I'm going to put the link down below if you want to go on their Facebook page I'm going to shout them out uh, if you know they have so many gorgeous gorgeous wreaths huge wreaths this is like nothing compared to you know but if I bought one of their huge wreaths <laughs> you wouldn't be able to get in through our door <laughs> beautiful job isn't that so we were uh, they are called sawdust glitter by K by K's so I will put their link down below on their Facebook page if you want to go and check out all the beautiful wreaths they have. We were talking and just a lovely group of uh, sisters, you know, lovely ladies. So I got into the car and I'm going home. I was a little disappointed, but I also enjoyed conversing with them. Now, mind you, this is only like, this is in my, around my, uh, my home here. So it's like, you know, two minutes from my house. So I'm turning around and so I'm going to go home, you know, get ready for my other errand. I turn around, go around the corner, another garage sale. So, you know, I pull up. You know what? Well, since I'm here, let me stop and check out what they have. And it was all books. So, you know, good Lord. It was like calling my name. Oh, hallelujah, stop. So, of course, I'm going to stop. Now, I love the way they laid out their... Um, the whole uh, they were selling books mind you right but they brought out tables and they put individual books side by side and they had it by category so it, there were how-to books there were uh, home improvement books there were um, spiritual books there were classics there were like you know fiction so it was so easy to go through you know you just it didn't have to you know a lot of times when they sell books they just put them all like in a box and you got to sift through things and all it was so much easier to do it very uh friendly guy we had you know it was a um, a couple they do this regularly apparently they love to read and they bring out their books and they were selling them for like a quarter to 50 cents a piece so let me get you, show you what i got hold on sorry about that but I had to make room so first thing I saw and I was I'm just gonna show you and it's gonna be quick I'm not gonna sit here show you every book but Charles Dickens Daybreak Copperfield for 50 cents you guys classic look at the size of this book I don't think I've have I read the, the Daybreak Copperfield have I seen this movie I'm not even sure I didn't read it that's for sure here is Charles Dickens Oliver Twist <sighs> I have never seen the movie on purpose. I had this thing. There was this scene in the movie that they would advertise when they would show the movie. And it was where Oliver Twist would go up in the orphanage. Please, sir, can I have another bowl of oatmeal or porridge? And 
the way he did that would just send me in tears at this poor boy. And I was like, I can't watch this movie. This movie is going to make me, I, I mean, there's not enough tissues in the house for me to handle that. So <laughs> I've never seen Oliver Twist. But 50 cents, you guys, you can't beat it. I do, I will read it. I'm just going to get myself mentally prepared for it. Now they had a couple of these, and these were all 50 cents also, and they look like there's a series. And um, this is Tales from Grace Chapel Inn. And they had quite a few of these, and it sounds like it's about a group of girls, uh, the Howard sisters. So there's a couple of them um, that, you know, they had, so I took them since, you know, I like series. So I took a couple of them, like I said, 50 cents, you can't beat the price of books. Like I said, I never, I rarely pay full price for books. There's just, you can go so many places to get books for free or practically next to nothing. Then I came across this book, again, for 50 cents, Reader's Digest, The Practical Problem Solver, Substitutes, Shortcuts, and Ingenious Solutions for Making Life Easier. And it's basically, it just gives you tips and, you know, on gardening and household items and fixing things. And I thought, how cool is that? I could definitely use this. Um, they have a whole bunch, like, on, uh, formulas, recipes, renewing, recycling, common things with uncommon uses, charts and checklists, problem solvers, dictionary, um, just things like that. So I thought, how cool is that, 50 cents? Who doesn't need one like these? Hmm? Then I love Bible studies, and they did have one for 50 cents. And this is one by Rick Warren. And it's the 40 days in the Word. Love the Word, learn the Word, live the Word. And it's a workbook. And, you know, Terry and I, Nana's Crochet Ideas, and I, we do, and plus another lady, we do a Bible study together, all three of us. And, uh, Terry, this will be one we'll be doing eventually. <laughs> then they had um i took a whole bunch of uh spiritual books i am a christian i love reading books on god i love uh self-help in um with my faith so i i got a whole bunch of books on that this is the the book of god which really just has like a whole you know uh, talks about abraham it's more in depth it has uh, maps and you know things like that talks more in depth about the bible itself um there were a couple of them like conversations with god um a portrait of jesus and these were all 25 cents these were all 25 cents you know looking for god um the purpose of christmas you know things like that i like um in his steps I like books like that. I like reading books like that of faith. And also, I bought a couple of them. And that was my, the last of my acquisitions. I, again, I got in the car, really happy with what I purchased. I think I spent $7 for all of the books I bought total, which is quite a lot. I'm not showing you everything, just basic things. And I got in the car and I'm turning around the corner. Here's another garage sale. I mean, there were garage sales everywhere. Um, this weekend, it's just unbelievable about and this was a moving sale So I, I go oh, let me go see you know moving sales, you know too bad I don't have a, a home, you know, I could buy hoses and all kinds of things. They had a lot of things, you know In your home like the people have right rakes shovels things like that uh, Unfortunately, I live in a townhouse. It's rented. I'm not going to buy that stuff here I don't even have any room to hold it, but I wish you know, I, I run into a garage sale like that when I have a home. Anyway, I go in there and I'm looking around and say, oh, I'm just looking for yarn or, you know, books and things. And mind you, this is an elderly couple. I think she was 68 and he was older. And I could not leave that place. She was telling me how they're getting divorced, how... Um, how they got the how what brought this on uh you know how it happened uh all the things he's done and like it just went on and on and i was like wow she really needed to unload like 
this poor woman needed to unload all of her troubles like she did not have anyone to talk to <laughs> and I just could not leave that yard I was just had to sit there and 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 listen to her and maybe that's why God made me stop so because she needed to listen she needed someone to listen to her but yeah you know so but honestly I sometimes wonder now I am single woman so I don't know please excuse me but I kind of figure if you're like already 68 and in your 70s or around your 70s that means you've probably been married for you know 34 years 40 years already why divorce now? I, I don't I, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I just thought that was something. So I when I when I did get out of there, I was like, I better go home because I have so much to do. And uh, but again, garage sales everywhere, guys. This is the time to go to the garage sales because um, it's the last you know weeks before um, you know the temperature ships for good. We have been uh, really busy. Um, this car situation we finally got another car uh with this organ uh with this accident and all where it's coming to a close thank goodness because it's like going on week three and even uh, it's kind of funny because i was talking to the agent and she's like oh they we're wrapping this up kind of quick and i'm thinking quick it's been three weeks lady <laughs> I can't wait to get my life back. <laughs> so yeah, we're almost at the very end, just tying up loose ends. We did get a car. So thank goodness for that. And uh, I tell you, I don't know how people do it. I, it's been a while since, you know, I've had to go through um, anything so disruptive. But you know, anything, anytime you go through any kind of trial, it's very disruptive and time consuming and aggravating and frustrating and uh, everything else gets put on hold while you're taking care of this situation or going through this situation so I do something <laughs> I was wondering do you guys go through this too when I have something like that and it just so disrupts my life so much where I'm so frustrated and all and my life seems so out of order I I need to clean like I need to organize something. I need to um, either I clean up my house or I clean up my closet or I clean up my drawers or something because then it makes me feel like I have some control. Like, yeah, my life is okay. I cleaned it up. Look, <laughs> I cleaned up that life, that mess that I'm in. So do you guys do that? Do you have that same, you know, when things are not going right? Do you go and clean or clean up your fridge or something and think that, yeah, I got control. See, my life's back on track. Look at that clean fridge. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and the rest of the week. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.